Thank you very much. So I'm, as he said, I'm Matthias Bolt Lesniak. I am a Typo3 project ambassador. Typo3 is a content management system used a lot in countries like Germany. Uh, well, it was a dark and stormy night when the telephone rang at the Typo3 offices. We have more modern telephones, but that's a picture. It was the government of Rwanda. They said they had 250 Typo3 websites that they needed upgrading. Ha 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 ha. Uh, you get a lot of those calls too, right? Well, this was a real call. And our question was, well, should we recommend a member agency to get stuff done and just earn money on them and build nice websites? Well, but, you know, what happens when you send a business to Africa today? What happens is usually that they open a local office, then they earn money, and then they simply export that money home again. They come with closed source solutions in some way, and they create a financial dependence between that country or the people in Rwanda in this case. And that is colonialist and exploitative, and we didn't want to do that. We decided to use our community to create independent local businesses and expertise. This is how it looked. We sent experts from agencies. They donated time for a week in Rwanda to train agencies in Rwanda to make websites for their government. The tabloid version is basically that a democratic, not-for-profit, open-source project supported sustainable and independent local business in Rwanda. That is locally led, non-exploitative, and anti-colonial. Fantastic. This is how it looked. They're now at 350 websites in four type of three instances. They're continuing. They're going to have 500 pretty soon. We're continuing our work in Uganda, Somalia, Senegal, Papua New Guinea. These are countries we're, we're already talking with. Because the values of open source, democracy, working together, peaceful coexistence, those are the values of any healthy society. We're a civil society. We're working together as civil society. And civil society won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2022. Yes, that's us as well. That's how, how important it is. And today we see that democratic values are under attack in a lot of countries. It's hard to try to defend democracy. But I would say, and Type 3 would say, that open source strengthens civil society everywhere, including here. So you can read more about the work that we're doing and download the report from Rwanda here. And I have one minute and 40 seconds left, which is pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Thank you.